check this out guys we will be taking a look at the latest Hammond Collection Concavenator, Joe Sternberger and Kalosaurus Robert Muldoon and the Pachycephalosaurus of course I'm gonna show you guys like the entire collection of the Hammond Collection Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, besides taking a look at the Hammond Collection figures today, let's head over to Lever 2 Jurassic World Millions to pick up all the different Ankylosaurus, Concavenator, and Pachycephalosaurus. So today's video is going to be exciting. Let's begin. Let's go. Alright guys, so let's begin. We only have two Concavenators, so that's easy. Quite a few Pachycephalosaurus at the back and we have a new one right here as well. A few Jurassic Park ones right here. Now let's get the Ankylosaurus. Okay, you can see plenty of figures right here. So let's head over to the mini shelves to pick up the different mini figures. Let's go. Okay, here are the Ankylosaurus from this shelf right here. Just one Pachy and Concavenator from this shelf, which is kind of sad. Alright guys, so let's begin our unboxing and comparison video, okay? So let's take a look at this box right here. Hammond Collection Concavenator, beautiful artwork on this box. You can see like a preview of um, the Concavenator. So right here it says, recognizable due to a distinct, distinctly shaped spine, which is right here. The Concavenator is on display and encased in history as Claire visits the Lockwood Estate. So basically, the Concavenator was found at the Lockwood Estate. It's like a mini museum, if you guys can remember that scene. Okay, let's open this box. I've basically cut the tape open. Okay, let's get the figure out. Wow, it looks really, really good, guys. So let's have a look at this. You can see, basically, the tail is right here. I think we can remove the tail quite easily. But I think there's like a little string right here, guys. So let's have a look. Uh, let me get my pair of scissors. So we can actually remove this. Oh, I think we had cut it from the back. The strings are actually very, very tight, so you have to be really careful uh, when releasing the strings, okay? Okay, one string is down, the other one is down as well. Uh, okay, I think we got it. That's pretty simple. First, let's get the tail up. It looks, it's looking good. And let's get the concavenator out from the box. There are a couple of strings right here as well. So let's cut them loose. Okay. The body should be able to... Should be able to remove it quite easily. Wow. It's actually very, very tight, guys. So let's try it from this side. really loud and noisy to be honest okay there's still one more string right at the back so we definitely need to cut this loose as well wow there you go so finally let me clear this mess first okay so this is the concavenator oh my goodness it looks really good but first let's assemble um, this figure let's just pop in the tail easily done Immediately it is fixed so you can see this is a concavenator. I want you guys to do some research on this figure like you know What does concavenator means? I'm, of course, I, I, I can't remember which is why I'm asking you guys for help So check this out. Wow, it basically has plenty of um, articulation as you guys can see The neck there are like one two three three points of articulation the jaw can of course be open and closed uh, But I think it can't be closed fully which is kind of weird the arms, you know, there are plenty of articulation as well. You can move them up and down. The wrist can be rotated. The legs, of course, can be open sideways. You can move them up and down as well. Okay. The tail can be rotated as well. Um, yeah. So this is basically the latest Hammond Collection Concavenator. Let's take a look at the other Concavenators from Mattel as well. Okay. So we have this one right here. And another one so this was the very first concavenator that you can find um, it's basically like the doer attack concavenator with like two different buttons so one actually triggers the jaw and the other one removes the tail so this was the very first concavenator um, this was the second release which is also from the same sculpt 
but with a different paint scheme. So, so far we have three concavenators. We have one minifigure. Let me try to find it. It's actually in my box, but I think it will take take us some time. So let's take a look at um the minifigures later on, okay? But you can see this concavenator. It always have some issues standing. So you you have to do it like this. Yeah, like this actually to keep it balanced. But very nice. What do you guys think? Which concavenator do you guys like the most? To be honest, I really like this color scheme because it's like really, really vibrant and stuff. But this one, it feels so good. This part is actually made of soft rubber, so it's like really soft. Um, it's really safe if you are like, you know, sending this, uh, I mean, gifting this to a kid. So it's a pretty safe gift, I would say. All right. Um, let's move on to our next figure, shall we? All right, guys, next figure, okay? Before we actually take a look at the next figure, check this out. This is basically the mini concavenator, okay? Which looks exactly like this one. So in total, we have four concavenators right now from Mattel. Yes, only four concavenators. Okay, next up, let's open this, which is the Ankylosaurus. I think this is going to look really nice as well. So this is basically the 30th anniversary Jurassic Park Ankylosaurus, which is slightly different from um, this one. This is basically the Hammond Collection one. So, you know, the concavenator was found in the Jurassic World movie, but the Ankylosaurus was like, you know, it was found in so many different um, Jurassic Park movies. Let's take a look at what is written right here. With an unmistakable armored exterior, the Ankylosaurus is one of the many awe-inspiring dinosaurs that Dr. Alan Grant sees by the river bank on Isla Sonar. So all of this, you know, Hammond Collection figures, they are basically dinosaurs that you can find in like the Jurassic Park movies, which is are awesome. So let's cut this open. I mean, once again, if you're using a box cutter at home, please be extremely careful if you are a kid you are not allowed to do that on your own okay so let's have a look at this in colosaurus wow there's like a protective um layer right here so let's just remove this all right let's get the ankylosaurus out i think the tail okay there's like a little string right here so let's cut the tail loose let's get this out easily done and you can see the Ankylosaurus is like lying on all fours. It's super adorable. So let's cut this loose as well. You can see my pair of scissors is like slightly bent. Um, it makes unboxing, it makes cutting much easier to be honest. So let's try and cut this one as well. All right. Have to be really careful not to hurt the dinosaur. I think it should be out by now. Easily done. Wow, I think this Ankylosaurus is looking really, really good. Take a look at the tail. There are like one, two, and three. Three points of articulation. One, two, three. Wow, this is awesome. Let's pop it right in. It should be easily done, like you know, the previous concavenator. Just pop it right in. There you go. Wow. And the color scheme of this figure actually looks very, very realistic. It's not like it's not like too vibrant or anything. So let's have a look at this. Wow, it's looks it looks gorgeous, guys. I mean, take a look at the detailing done. You can see the osteoderm very, very well. This is basically known as the osteoderm, which is like the armor of uh, the dinosaur. So let's you can actually open and close the jaw. Check this out. Okay, you can rotate the neck. The front part is movable as well, I think. Let's try. Yep, this part is movable as well. Wow, you can see the thorns, the horns, the spikes. I mean, not horns, the spikes are very, very nicely done. They are not made of like soft rubber. Plenty of intricate details on this figure, which is awesome. The legs can be moved sideways. Up and down can rotate them. There are like one point of articulation right here, two and three. Very, very beautiful, but of course, the toe claws aren't painted, which is quite a pity. One, two, three, three points of articulation. Really beautiful. There's no scan code for you guys to actually scan for your Jurassic World Facts app. Um, yeah, but it's fine. This is simply awesome. Really, really beautiful. Um, later on, okay, let me just get my camera. Later on, I'll be putting in my Hammond Collection figures right over here. So I want you guys to like 
have a look later on okay so let's head back to our video yeah all right so i think next let's take a look at our mini and kylosaurus collection i mean just take a look at our, some of the kylosaurus uh, we have one of the Rory Vos. Okay, let me show you guys this. Okay, the very first Rory Vor is actually this one. The very first Ankylosaurus from the Jurassic World Mattel line is this one. Still working. Sounds are still working. I think we got this in like 2018, uh, which is kind of like five years old already. And this is the other second wave Rory Vor. Um, sounds are not working, not too sure why, possibly ran out of batteries, we can, we can look to replace the batteries later on. And this is the um, Roar Attack, Roar Attack um, in Colossaurus, which, which is the one I really like. Um, I think it's supposed to look like uh, Brumpy. And speaking of Brumpy, okay, we do have another one. This is the, basically the Roar Striker, which is so much better. So Roar Striker, you press it down, um, it will roar. And it comes with a scan code right here. I mean, you guys should already have this in your, you know, Jurassic Wolf X app by now. It's quite an old figure. Of course, we still have a couple of bumpies right over here. We have lots of Ankylosaurus in today's video, but you know, we will take a look at them later on. Okay. Next up, oh, what shall we open next? Shall we open the Joe Sternberger? I think so. Let's have a look at this one right now. Alright, Joe Sternberger Jurassic Park. I can't remember where we have seen the Joe Sternberger. I think probably in Jurassic Park 3. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at this. While the Pteranodon may rule the skies of Isla Sonar, the Joe Sternberger makes a memorable pre-production appearance and displays an impressive wingspan with a longer neck, big and head crest. I'm not too sure which movie it appeared in so uh i definitely need the help of you guys to like you know let me know down below okay so let's open this um yeah let me just move the figures backwards because they're like so little space right now um you know i always hope to have like a bigger review table because this table is kind of small if we want to do review like plenty of um, figures at the same time so let me cut this open you know, once again, if you are a kid like below like 8 years old or even maybe like below 10 years old, don't use this one at home. I don't want your parents to be sending me DMs and um, telling me you shouldn't be using a box cutter in front of my kids because they will be imitating you. Okay, hopefully guys, you, you don't do that, okay? So let's get the Joe Sternberger out. Oh, and speaking of Joe Sternberger, I've totally forgotten to bring... Um, you know our legacy collection Joe Sternberger out uh, maybe let's head over to our um, level 2 Jurassic World Midlands again later on so let's have a look at this wow it looks beautiful guys it looks awesome wow it's pretty big but it doesn't come with a stand so I'm not too sure how we are going to display this I have a feeling you are able to bend the wings let me try I'm, I'm not too sure yes it can be bent which is awesome so you can bend the wings upwards like this don't bend them too hard because um it may break you know one of my pteranodons one of my velociraptor tail from the um, amber collection actually came out the metal rod inside came out from the skin which is kind of um very very sad for me so check this out joe sternberger comes with a movable jaw which is really nice the detailing on the face is awesome. You can see like, you know, every single detail. The eyes are so nicely painted. Beautiful. There's one articulation right here. Another point right here. So total, there are like two points of articulation just on the head itself. Only one point of articulation on the wings. But of course, you can move the wrist right here, which is awesome. Of course, you, you are able to bend the wings and you can see the detailing on this. It's pretty amazing. The legs can be moved as well. Okay, you can move the legs right here. Very, very beautiful figure. I love this figure. So um, what we are going to do next is that we are going to head over to Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up the other Joe Sternberger for comparison. So follow me, guys. Let's go. Right guys, back at your favorite place, Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands. 
we have a Joe Sternberg here right here guys a small mini one which is the legacy collection one so let's bring this over to the basement Dano dungeon let's go all right guys so now we are back at the dino dungeon with the joe sternbergia this is basically the one from the legacy collection okay check this out you can see the wings are able to flap when you press the button right here and it's looking great the colors are in general quite similar you can see blue colored body the wings are in this mustard color but the face when it comes to the beak as well as the crest on the head is actually slightly different the one from the legacy collection has a more orangey tone whereas this one has a more mustard yellow tone and of course you can see the big uh, they are actually in different colors this one is in red and this one is in yellow mustard okay but overall we have two joe sternberger this is our only joe sternberger in our collection so i'm pretty happy next up let's open um the packy settle sorry as you can see my concavenator keeps falling over which is kind of annoying let's open this up this one looks equally impressive as well it's a much smaller figure as you guys can see pachycephalosaurus let's have a look at this with a name that may be difficult to pronounce the pachycephalosaurus phase engine hit on with a skull that's nine inches of solid boot so it was actually seen in um you know lost world if i'm not wrong you know jurassic park to the movie okay so let's open this up gonna use the box cutter as well cut the tape loose let's get this one out so you can see this basically has the jurassic park 30th anniversary logo on the top right let's get this out the box looks amazing to be honest do you guys keep the boxes i don't because there are like so many of them to be kept so it's not possible for me to like keep every single one of them let's get the tail out you have to cut the strings loose of course uh. okay Right, we still have to cut this string loose. Wow, this one is tough. Got it done. Got it out. So, finally. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So, this is basically our Pachycephalosaurus. You can see it has a movable jaw. Alright, let's pop in the tail. The jaw can be moved at a you know just now so let's have a look at this really really well done figure as you guys can see it has a movable neck so this can be rotated there's two points of articulation on the neck there's also um, articulation on the lower jaw i guess if you can open it it's really small really tiny but you can see very nice detailing done on the head you can see the ridges done very well very very beautiful and you can see the head this is actually nine inches of bone which is super super thick and of course the arms can be rotated you can move them up and down and there's like one two two points of articulation and of course the legs can be moved as well very very nice i would say you're able to rotate the tail as well i think you're able to bend the tail too which is awesome okay so i'm gonna place the packy cephalosaurus right here because uh, I think I've basically shown you guys like every single new one so it's time for us to do some comparison but before that let's take a look at other Hammond collection figures all right guys so now let's take a look at every single Hammond collection figure first one right here what is this galley mimers which is the chicken mimic I think this one looks great so we do have a couple of Herbie Voss right now this being the largest one which is awesome Okay, so Galley Mimers, known as the Chicken Mimic. I love the Paris Horolophers as well, guys. This one looks really, really beautiful. It has a small, cutesy little jaw. So, Paris Horolophers is known as the Near Crested Lizard, which is another herbivore from the Hammond collection, which is really, really awesome. Okay, next up, 
we have a small little Dilophosaurus right here. Um, this is known as the Double Crested Lizard because of this two crest right here. Of course, this frill is only present in Jurassic Park. Okay, let's move on. We have the Ceratosaurus right here. I can't remember uh, which movie Ceratosaurus was found in um, the Jurassic Park movie. So let me place this one right here. Next up, we have a Baryonyx, which is known as the Heavy Claw. Heavy Claw, it's basically very, very uh, obvious because this claw right here is actually bigger than the rest, okay? Baryonyx, it is a Spinosaurid, which means it is closely related to a Spinosaurus. And speaking of Spinosaurus, I'm hoping we will get a Spinosaurus from the Hammond Collection. I think that will be epic. I'm pretty sure it will come. So I forgot to mention that um, Ceratosaurus is basically known as the Horned Lizard. Okay, let's move on. Um, let's proceed to our next one, which is the um, Velociraptor. So this is the Velociraptor right here. Um, this is also from the Hammond Collection. It's a really tiny and small raptor, but you can see a um, really beautiful one as well, okay? So uh, we do have another one, which is right here. This is basically the Triceratops from the Hammond Collection. I think this is a really well done figure, but I think many fans actually complained that it doesn't have a movable lower jaw, which is, um, you know, something that they hope to see in an um, upcoming figure. All right, and of course we have our latest one, which is the um, concavenator. Oh, I almost took the wrong one. I mean, I took the wrong one. This is the um, Hammond Collection concavenator. I think this is a really beautiful one, I would say. And of course, um, Pachycephalosaurus, um, Jostenbergia, and the Ankylosaurus. That's a new Velociraptor which is coming out really soon. I hope to get that. Okay, time for us to take a look at other dinosaurs in the box. So right here, I have a Pachycephalosaurus. This is the basic figure. This figure is slightly damaged over here. But overall, I think this is like one of the very, very rare basic figures out there. So this is part of my Pachycephalosaurus collection. We don't have many Pachys in our collection, to be honest. I'll be doing some um, you know, videos on this um, in my TikTok as well as my Instagram account. So this one, it's a vintage JP Pachycephalosaurus, as you guys can see. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is actually from 1997. Um, let's have a look. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is quite a nice one. I'm just gonna put this one right here. Next up, we do have a couple of more Pachycephalosaurus. I think we have quite a number of them. This one, if I'm not wrong, is also from uh, one of the um, Legacy collections. So this one, I'm gonna put it right here. I'll be grouping all my Pachycephalosaurus together because right now, I actually place like the latest one, um, you know, in a different space. So hopefully we can do it, um, you know, group them together. Here's another one. I think this is like the latest one that we have. Um, it is also from the Legacy Collection. Really beautiful one. Um, there's a bit of like pins, pin wear right here, which is kind of sad for me. Okay. All right. Let me show you guys more. We have two really old Pachycephalosaurus. These are all the way back in 2015. It's like uh, eight years, going to be 10 years really soon. So this is actually from the very first Jurassic World movie. Okay, just gonna put this one right here. But of course, you know, the, the figures from Hasbro, they didn't receive very good feedback. Next up, more Pachycephalosaurus. You know, it's so hard to pronounce his name. So this one is actually a vintage Jurassic Park a JP14 figure. Here's another one. We have two of them. Just gonna put them um, right over here because it's really tight up on space right over here. Okay, so next up, here's another one. This I can't remember. I think this is like one of the um, Savage Strike figures. Uh, the coat is still at the bottom. Okay, some of these figures, um, it doesn't really work well sometimes. So you have to like push the neck sometimes. Yes, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, so you have to push the head a couple of times to make it work again. But overall, I think all the Pachycephalosaurus, they look really good. Let me show you guys like the, the very first one. Let me just close this drawer. It doesn't look good with the drawer open. Okay, I think this was the first one. The very first 
Pachycephalosaurus figure. It's kind of dirty, so I definitely need to clean this up. You know, I have a piece of wet wipe. There's a bit of smudge right here. Hopefully, I can clean this off. If not, I'll be a little bit sad. Yeah, I think it's like coming off really nicely. Just one small little spot. Yeah, it's totally gone. Awesome stuff. So, I think this one has some issues. So maybe the tail doesn't work anymore. Let's try. Yeah, this one doesn't work anymore, which is quite a shame. Yeah, do you guys like know how to fix this? Oh, it works again. But it doesn't work all the time. I think you have to push the tail back up like this. You, you, you push it up, you'll hear like a really soft clicking noise. And it will spring back again. So let's try this. Okay, push it up. Yep, you push it up and you can pull it back down, which is pretty awesome. So we found a way to actually uh, resolve this issue. Is is it possible for me to clean this? I don't think so. This is basically a pin wear, so I don't think we can fix this. All right, let's move on to our other figures in our collection. I've brought some Ankylosaurus just to show you guys like a collection as well. Okay, so Ankylosaurus right here. This is basically like a mini, you know, Pachycephalosaurus versus Ankylosaurus collection video. Okay, another one, this is like the green version. Okay, nice. Oh, we do have another one, which is the Battle Damage Pachycephalosaurus. You can uh, uh, move the head, the legs can be moved. This portion can be open as well. Okay. All right, next up. Here's another one. This is actually an authentic, you know, Universal Studios product. Uh, we got this from like Japan. It's a finger puppet, really beautiful one, I would say. And what do we have right here? Another in color source, but this one is also from Hasbro uh, 2015 figure. You can see it's quite an old figure. Let me see whether we can uh, uh, adjust this. Uh, let's try. Yep, it's still working quite well. You can see the tail can move. The head can also move. Okay, let's move on. Right, let's move on. We have lots and lots of Ankylosaurus in our collection, okay? So let me just push everything, you know, to the back because we have plenty of minifigures. What is this? Are you guys like able to uh, recognize and remember this? This is basically, um, what is this known as? Snap Squad. Yes, that's the Snap Squad Brompy. And of course, we have the metallic version right here, which is um, really beautiful. You know, too bad we don't have snap squats anymore, but right now we do have wild pop-ups, which is not bad too. This one is a really adorable one, okay? I would say um, it's actually quite rare. It's a McDonald's Happy Meal, and you can only get it in like some countries. We are, we are quite lucky to, to get it uh, two years ago. Quite a nice one, I would say. Okay, let's move on. We have loads of um, new minis okay i wouldn't say new minis you can see this one has a uh, movable tail this is actually from the very first wave here's another one green version with a you know articulated tail and what is this known as guys i have no idea what this is known as i know that you know the tail of the stegosaurus is known as the stegomizer but i'm not too sure what is the tail of the uh, ankylosaurus uh, known as i basically call it the club at the end of the tail is like a you know like a stone it's very very cool it's it's actually pretty pretty um powerful because the ankylosaurus can actually whip its tail at a very very high speed and of course at great strength okay here we have two more little pachycephalosaurus which um you know it's looking very very cool okay these are from you know jurassic park as well all right so let's move on and take a look at the next one. We have a squishy Jurassic World Mashems. I'm not too sure whether you guys have like seen my unboxing video of the Mashems um, previously. Yeah, we man managed to get the entire set like finally, finally. Okay, this is actually one from the micro collection. And speaking of micro collection, we will be receiving lots more micro collection really soon. Okay. Next up, we have one of the um. Uh, captive, yep, captive collection and Kalsaurus. I, I mean, I have to be honest, this is definitely not one of the uh, 
most accurate looking and color stories that you can find. You know, it looks kind of goofy but cute at the same time. Okay, next up, this one is definitely great. This is basically the glow in the dark of Captive Collection Brumpy. You know, if I switch off the lights, you, you'll be able to see it, um, you know, turning green. But of course, it's still pretty bright right here. Okay, this one is a really, really cool one. This one is actually from, um, you know, Jurassic Park. Very, very cool. A mini Pachycephalosaurus. Right. And here is uh, the Bumpy version of the um, Captive Collection. I think, you know, the Captive Collection figures are really, really well done. And I love them. Here's the other one, which is uh, also kind of like goofy looking, at, uh, like what I've said. It's basically from the Captive Collection as well. There are two uh, and Colosaurus from that collection. How can I make this Pachycephalosaurus stand? Yeah, standing pretty well right now. And here is um, another Ankylosaurus from the previous series. The newer ones are definitely better. It's like softer. Uh, it's not as hard, but I, I kind of prefer the older one because it's harder and um, when it comes to detailing, it seems to be slightly more detailed. Yeah, I'm not too sure. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Okay, um, right now we are left with three of this mini uh, bumpies. Okay, very, very cute and adorable ones. Okay, next up, let's see. Shall we open this? Since this is our last figure and I have two of them to be honest with you. Shall we just open one of them? I mean, uh, I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. So let's let's read. A skilled hunter himself, Robert Muldoon, is no match for the clever velociraptors at Jurassic Park. Yeah, he was actually outsmarted by the uh, raptors. So what we are gonna do next is that I'm gonna be putting um the Hammond collection figures into the shelf just to give you guys a preview. Of course, um, I still have to take like a nice thumbnail later on. Okay, so let's do this. Alright, let's place the first figure in, which is the um, Ceratosaurus. Okay, next, Baryonyx is in. And now, the Concavenator is in. And now, Paris Roll first. Alright guys, so I've placed in the rest, okay? The Lophosaurus, Velociraptor, um, Pachycephalosaurus. This Gallimimer keeps falling over, we have to adjust it later on. Uh, yeah, Gallimimus, Pachycephalosaurus, and of course the Jostermbergia. This one feels a little bit out of place because the wings are like so huge and it's taking up so much space. But overall, this is basically my Hammond Collection figure. Of course, we still have the T-Rex, but the T-Rex is actually, um, you know, displayed together with other T-Rex. Uh, yeah, but overall, Hammond Collection, very happy with it. So you can see this is the mess right now. Um, this is usually the case after I do uh, a video. So we have to spend, um, you know, maybe the next hour to clean this up, to clean all this up, place them back into their respective shelves, and also to make, uh, you know, the thumbnail and also some, some videos for our TikTok and Instagram account, okay? So thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, goodbye.